I actually told him 10. I said 10 p.m. And then so I texted him. I was like, hey, you guys running late. What's going on? And he said, oh, I told him 1030. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he told us 1030. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. I don't, I don't yeah, know no, I just saw your tweet on uh, on Twitter about that you're going live on Discord at 10. I figure you're doing a little pre-show or something. Yeah, yeah we, it's pre-show. It's, you're good. Don't worry. Right. It's it's no big All deal. Right. I'm sitting here just getting drunk. Uh, it's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. At least nice. one of us is. <laughs> See, Randy. Who's not drinking? That, that's me. I gave it all up. Why are you not drinking, Randy? I gave up the booze after what? the NFHC episode that's forever on the internet. All right. Oh, I heard about this. Yeah. I still need to listen. I, I heard you're a legend. <laughs> yeah. Yep. It was pretty great. But I hear you fuck. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> Apparently that's the only joke I could remember after, uh, you know, so many shot a whole bottle of rum. Uh. <laughs> Damn. Look, man, I doubled down. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I made a fool of myself on a podcast, I went on another show that no one listens to. I literally went on to r slash podcasting, went to the smallest podcast uh, that I could find, uh, someone asking for guests. I went on the show. It was three brothers. They hated me. <laughs> <laughs> and I just yelled and got drunk for, for two hours. And they said they stopped recording after 45 minutes. <laughs> and it never came out. <laughs> well. Yes. I, I can't even find it. That I followed one of the guys great. on Twitter, and he's just like, I don't do a podcast anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Blocks. Uh, was that like their episode nine or some shit, and they quit by ten? That. Yeah, we hear you, but <laughs> <laughs> I came in hard, man. I can't. I, I, I showed them the Prince Albert. Don't fuck um, around. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Turns out they all own Subarus. So now I'm <laughs> back here. What up, Ram? What's I'm up? having fun. <laughs> oh, oh dude, we can do a three-way. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. They're great cars, and they're great for, for uh, if you have a construction job, it's a flagger. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. That's a high-paying job. Don't knock it. Dude, I don't knock it. <laughs> I, I want that job. I, I make that much money, and I'm stressed out all the time. <laughs> I, w I would, dude, give me the flagger job. I'll be there tomorrow. I will say Let's fuck you, do. people you in go Korea. You go one side, I go the other side. Yeah, double yeah. flags. Well, fucking cousins do flags. Exactly. Yeah, cousins that's a new show we got flags. going. You ain't it's gotta, fun. You ain't even have to pay attention as a flagger, man. You can just you just stand there. Yeah, you just right. Just, and just, just wait at your people phone. on and hope. It probably for a is crash. really boring though. Wait for somebody. Yeah, to beat, probably drags beat. on for a while. Yeah, or maybe it's Black Dahlia murder. I don't know. Anyway, uh, apparently Chester knew that all the little metal guys thought their shit was lame as hell, and he thought that was hilarious, <laughs> and he was a really nice guy. And same thing with, with the dude from Disturbed. The guy, David Draymond, they wanted to make fun... Uh, excuse me. The Red Cord, those dudes, they were, like, telling me how they wanted to make fun of the, him so bad when they were touring with Disturbed, like, the easiest band to make fun of aside of Kid Rock and Creed. <laughs> and... They said they couldn't do it because every day Disturbed would wake up to watch their set at like at noon, and, and they were like, "God damn it, these guys are so fucking nice, good boys." <laughs> yeah, nice. Got oh it. my god, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm late. I, I was having such an incredible yeah. day. I'm, I'm late, but I'll Jesus Christ, all you guys. Cody's all <laughs> fucked up already. <laughs> what kind cool. of day? Oh my god, like brewery hopping. There was a hookah bar. There was gastro pub. I'm. I, my liver hates me right now, but hello. Hi, gentlemen. How are you? Where are you? Tampa. Tampa. Cody's in Tampa. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, nice. Land, so. land of the free. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. Land of the free, home of the brave. Uh -oh. Randy, let's, let's, put them all, let's put them all quiet. Let's, gentlemen, uh, let's, you ready? You guys ready? You guys ready to do this? For whatever. Right. Yeah. Rock and roll, dude. Hell right. yes. All right. I got to play the old, the old new intro. Uh, and then we can go. Oh, my God. All right. Here we go. Let's do it. Hey, everybody! Welcome! Episode 161 of the Rich Dick and Show Podcast. Slightly better than mediocre, Randy. I think I got to turn that down. I haven't done this one in 108 episodes. So I'm talk through it. It's just too loud in my ears. Randy, you're the producer. You got to fix this shit. Anyway, 
Let's do this shit. What's up, guys? It is Rem, your 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 host, your host for this night. And uh, Jesus, I get you got to do. This. It's all new, Randy. It's like it's all new for me. I don't know <laughs> what the hell I'm doing, and I'm just figuring it out. Just like feel blind man feeling titties in the dark. It's gonna be great. But Ooh. I'm here, all right. And and mm. yeah, Randy's here, executive producer Randy. Randy, how are you, buddy? Oh, you know, uh, tired. But I'm here. I'm here, yeah. and uh, excited okay. to have a great, great episode. Are you uh, sober? Are you excited? Yeah. Uh, yes. So excited. Yeah, because we have we have for, a, a for certain real. guest with us. We got a lot of guests, but a certain one wanted to come meet the Randy of old, and that Randy isn't. A lo- I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, uh, definitely not main host tonight. It is. It is Tom, Travis, Mike, and Cody from Roast Mortem Cast. Gentlemen. Oh my God. Thank you for coming. <laughs> No, <laughs> thank you for having what the four-headed up? beast, <laughs> Randy. Do you fuck? Uh, allegedly. Wow, uh, oh, dude! <laughs> I have a whole whole bag of shrimp ready to fuck, dog. Oh. Did you devan them? Shrimp, indeed. Okay. <laughs> Wait, mm. do I what? They're, oh, no, they're vain. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> keep, keep that shit in there, Kristen. Let's yeah, get some high like octane like diet coke into this guy. Oh. My God, <laughs> I have water. <laughs> Something water work. Here. No. Oh, my God. All right. So, hey, thank you for coming on Roast Mortem Cast. Uh, Travis. Our pleasure. You're the only one of the three who hasn't been on the show before, so it's so exciting to have you here because, really? you know, we can tell our audience here about our, our lesbian love affair. Uh, oh, I forgot about that. together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, this is the reason why. This was like we met on Subaru Mingle. <laughs> yes. Rem and I, we, you know, we... Yeah, I crossed the sound. It was very romantic. I I was in my cross track. I got the ferry from uh, Port Jeff to Bridgeport. That's yep. We like both docked into each other. Opened our hoods. It was nice. It's was, <laughs> it was very nice. It was like warm and inviting, and I never felt so alive. I That's can't believe. Gross. Uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, I, no. I'm so excited to be on the show and meet you guys. Actually, I mean, uh, Rem, you were on the on the last show, but I have yet to meet the Randy. Yes, there he is. and unfortunately, yeah, and you get this version of Randy. Yes, the PG-13 <laughs> version of Randy. Randy. Yes, uh, rated R Randy is retired. Apparently, all yeah. versions of Randy so are valid. Yeah. What's left. I, I, I basically, yeah. out again. basically lost both my both my co-hosts. So it's really <laughs> no, just me. I'm sorry, just I love you, around. Man. With this guy, thanks, buddy. Uh, <laughs> so, hey, you know, I, I, I didn't. I thought you were in Georgia, Tom. We talked a little bit about this in a pre-show. I was in New York City last week, Friday night and a Saturday, helping producer Ryan move. Oh no! Right? I mean, I, I think you're out in Trump land in Long Island, so it probably wouldn't have worked out. But I, you know, could have waved or some shit. Yeah, I drove through that shithole called Staten Island. Wow! On Friday yeah. night. 13 hours of a drive, stopped at Waffle House, had to diarrhea, but held it in for the entire time because I like adventure. Are you some kind of superhuman? Um, yeah. yeah. Stopped, got cigarettes from my friends. I don't even smoke anymore because I'm trying to live. I should smoke more. Um, yeah. But got cigarettes. I got fireworks. Not allegedly. Really. I got the real shit. I got some some gator jerky. I made my way really? all the way up to Delaware on one tank of gas filled up there. I saw the lines. I saw the panic that was happening in North wow. Carolina at a love. No <laughs> shit. These, these fucking people, they're convinced that the sky is falling because the gas went up a little bit. <laughs> these well, people yeah. are fucked. <laughs> You can convince these people of anything these days, so it's great. Did you see anybody putting it in bat- plastic bags? Because that's the best. No, I. but I, the place I went had, like, security guards there. So really? really making oh, sure shit. that no oh, one was doing geez. that shit. Oh, and the place oh, I stopped damn. to get cigarettes, that was a gas station in South Carolina. Uh, no one's there. What, like, what no, in the state? Like, this panic, this panic is, like, literally oh, okay. county centralized. Yeah. Like, you stop <laughs> wow. at one oh. gas station... Or one county, every gas station is packed. Slowly, yeah. You drive three fucking miles. It's fine. Normal price. Nothing's happened. So that's that's the way it is. Everything you've ever worried about doesn't exist. Um, Rem, thanks for having me on the show. Sorry if I'm a little <laughs> oh, wrong. Thanks. <laughs> it's all good, bro. Okay? We got to kill time tonight. So, hey, uh, Mike is there. Mike recently became a Dogecoin millionaire. And, hey, yes. did you handle the crash well? Or I'm down oh, yeah, 50 yeah. bucks in Bitcoin. It's pissing me off. You got to hold, you gotta hold, man. You got those diamond hands. We taught him well. Yeah. We taught him. Right. Well. You gotta go through the waves, yeah. man. You gotta ride the wave. That's yeah. The whole thing, did did, you, did sure. you cash out at all? Oh, like no. a little bit? Did you take any profits? I took. Oh, you're just going uh, all the way. Okay. I took two G's out. 
Okay. Took two G's at. Also, yeah. you should probably explain to the listeners that you are a financial advisor, and you've that is been, true. I am a financial advisor, <laughs> and you have you. been toying with our money. And by our <laughs> money, I mean mostly Travis. You and know Cody's. what? I did a very smart investment. <laughs> we'll yeah, see. Two thousand. Your report card is coming up. We'll see, but <laughs> yeah, you, t- yeah, you tell yeah. the world whatever <laughs> it needs to know right now. I buy at the peak, and then when it drops off, I'm like, oh, fuck. But then I'm like, all right, maybe I'll bounce back. Oh, my so. God. This is the guy. Okay. Hold it. Yeah, I think we did a good job, <laughs> guys. Guy I think we invested yes, in the right man. Yesterday was pretty stressful yesterday. <laughs> we got the regular old JP Morgan right yeah, here. Yeah, wow. Okay. But, yeah. God damn. Yeah, all right. All right. We, uh, well, maybe we'll get there tonight. We've got, uh, we got a lot to talk about. Yeah, all right. And then we got, we, got, we got Cody. What up, my friend? Yeah. Hello. How are what? you? Co- Cody's traveling the country in I'm Tampa, Florida right now. doing God's work. You're in Tampa? I'm in ta- yeah, Mike, I'm in Tampa. Do you go to the strip club yet? Is are there? Do they have those here? I heard that's, I heard that's really popular in Tampa, the strip clubs. I've, I've heard stories. Have you been in Tampa? No. Oh. <laughs> I, was just, well, I guess I'll just uh, trust you word then. Word of mouth. I've yeah. not been there. Hey, I, hey, I, Cody, I keep... Yeah? I was standing in the shower today, Cody, and I just I and I remembered that you know I, I several weeks ago I sent you some video things of a McDonald's uh, sandwich I was I eating, am, I was and I completely about forgot about it. Yeah, it was, it was I assume weirdest. you forgot about it as well. Yeah, absolutely. It was the weirdest <laughs> open-ended thing ever. It's just like, do I want to get into breaded chicken nugget? Not bread and chicken nugget, but breaded like McDonald's sandwich thing. Yes or no? And it's yeah. just. It's like, have you I had guess the, the crispy chicken no. sandwich from McDonald's? So it's amazing. So I feel like I have did not get, it. but like I, I need more of a sample uh, uh, value. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I, I gotta have it two or three times mm-hmm. before, I, before I pass an honorable uh, what, judgment. What are your thoughts <laughs> on salad? Cody. <laughs> salad is hit or miss for me, but mostly I'm not gonna lie, a miss because I'm chicken salad doesn't count. I'm a manlet. It does. <laughs> Rem, yeah, you're you're, you're talking to a man that ate half what, man. A penny ala vodka, pe- penny ala vodka in a pizza box and thought he ate a pizza. Yeah, <laughs> and he woke up the next day. Why are there noodles in my pizza box? <laughs> okay, what he's saying is not that far from the truth, but it's not exactly the truth. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave that there. Okay. Funny yeah. story. I had the crispy chicken he- sandwich on the way home from work here. How was it? Uh, that that, that oh. was my dinner. Uh, I got nice. mayonnaise added to it because I think it's too dry. <gasps> and it's still dry with the mayonnaise. Randy, you gotta get the spicy better. sauce. Yeah. I knew, Popeyes I knew, way better. I knew that I was gonna like you. Throw as much mayonnaise on there as possible. You gotta get that sandwich lube, right? I, I got syringe. one better mayonnaise for you. I need a honey. syringe of mayonnaise. I got one better for you. <laughs> you gotta, Ooh. you gotta stop turning your back on liquor because then everything is just perfectly wet. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So you just do it. Put back a shot of Tullamore Dew and. Whip back a chicken sandwich. It's rare, but I agree with Tom at this certain junction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'll be right back. Let me run to Chrome. Yeah, no, All we right. got you. Randy, c- come out this way, Randy. I'll get you hooked up with a bottle of my father's homemade wine. It's not like drinking alcohol at all. It's just like lot, drinking a lot of alcohol at once. It's delicious. And you can say you're classy because you're drinking your friend's homemade wine. It's much different than drinking a bottle of Jameson. Yeah. No, How much nothing. different? Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Uh, well, I haven't had homemade wine since I was like 12. My friend Daniel, yeah. <laughs> uh, his dad had homemade wine See? in the basement, and we got drunk and threw My father gave me this. That looks oh, like nice. it was made in a right. nice toilet. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Out the window at his dad's truck. Just the best toilets. Uh, yes. Mm. Can you imagine like a God, weird future uh, where people are doing homemade white claws, and that's what we're talking <laughs> that's about? That's complicated. Like, my dad made some... Yeah, but is it though? Because wine is great. Unless yeah. China might check grape, not even close to wine. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta like yeah. carbonate it somehow, my friend. Carbonate is easy. Well, you get just, a soda machine. Yeah. 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 You get soda the soda stream. stream and you get some, oh. I don't know, vodka and you just do some science and it probably just comes together. I just science. assume. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I feel like nobody was, drinks white claws anymore, though. I haven't seen a white claw. What are you? Anywhere. What are you talking about? All right, first off, I oh, drink plenty on. of white claws because I'm a man and I'm I'm a, I'm I'm not afraid of my masculinity. <laughs> it's happening. You know, it's happening. I, I'm not afraid. <laughs> right. You know, in the same I breath, I could be feminine. I could be masculine. I could drink hey, white claw. You want to right. be how many times do you make sure that? How many times do you make sure that you locked your Subaru as you're walking away from it? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to hear the neighborhood. Okay, that's true. Fair enough. Hey, nothing That's in there. Right. That's you gotta hear the beep. I get it. 
<laughs> you know, you know, it kind of depends on the neighborhood. Rem gets lock it. it. I'm not gonna lock it in my neighborhood. Yeah. Well, I always lock. Uh, no, but the, so, I'm the I'm the, I was the asshole kid at camp that would like take my juice boxes, you know, like summer camp or something. I leave it out in the sun, be like, I'm fermenting it, bro. Oh, fermenting, <laughs> fermenting. I'm gonna make some cider, man. Yeah, You're that guy. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, good. just gets moldy. So. Oh my god! We got you guys here for the whole show, but if you if you get bored, and you want to leave, just say, "Hey, I'm I'm out. Fuck you guys." Uh, so, <laughs> but <laughs> no, I'm intruding on this whole bitch. Yes, thank you. It's it's good because I need it because uh, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just, so some real quick Rich Dickman oh, business uh, for the next several weeks, probably until September, because I got some news from somebody I can't say their name yet, but I might be having this person on in the September month when things work out. That's all I can give you. It's a teaser. Uh, if you enjoyed my old stuff in the world of Warcraft torn think tank days, you might have a better idea of who I'm talking about. And it's not my old co-host. Uh, but we're going to, we're going to rotate Damn. through, through hosts as we get through the uh, aftermath of the, um, of the law, the, the erasure of the last guy, Ray, Randy, it sucks. Um, but so, so who, yeah, exactly. Who doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so yeah. th- thank you guys for being the, the, first well, you're a strumpet for being. This promiscuous. Yes. <laughs> hey, you uh, know yeah, what? Don't don't you, worry, you, Rem. You were... If if you collect some some co hosts that are half the much as as Ray of Sunshine as we are, <laughs> if you know what I mean. They, half the half much, the yeah. much <laughs> of Ray of Sunshine, you're gonna be just yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay? So we'll be the Ray of Thank Sunshine yeah. for you. Yeah, you might even get that. We will yes. set the bar. You might even get that guy from, uh, who is it, Sugar Ray? Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray, Ray. yeah, he's a great that. dude, the singer. <laughs> That'd be dope if you got him. What's yeah, the, Wait, the guy who did the Mark little part. Would... Shut the door, baby. Open Not the that door. Guy. Uh, yeah. Drew Carey, guy. right? <laughs> Shut the door, baby. Open the door. <laughs> I got to get John, anyway, Johnny Sins sorry. in first. Uh, from, oh, yeah. From oh, yeah. Him. You need, or Kieran Lee. You get both of them in there. Dude, you're talking to this <laughs> man's heroes wait, right no. here. Dude. Yeah. We actually cut a lot of our talk about Johnny Sins out of the episodes. That we do. <laughs> it was labor intensive. Yeah, I noticed that. This is my I'm idol. Just, just, cause, all right, so you you mentioned Kieran Lee. Uh, is, is that is that guy still working? <laughs> He's always on the free websites. I always see him banging <laughs> <in> shakes. <laughs> Everyone go like X videos. He's always uh, like, yeah. He's, him or Johnny Sins. Yeah. I, I'm yeah, pretty he, sure. He's always getting into yeah. trouble, like ordering a <laughs> large He's always pizza. Mom or some shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that Kieran Lee owns some of Brazzers. I wouldn't be surprised. I think he does. I, I think he's behind the scenes. I would not be lucky best. And if you notice, a lot of the scenes that he's been doing are with these really dolled up plasticky bitches. You know, like the yeah. types where it's just like, you, why does your butt look like that? Yeah. Why is that's your my tip? type? What's the it's face? All good. Well, <laughs> but, you know, they, it's like you could have just bought a house, but you decided to get plastic surgery and look like a running candle. They should have came to yeah. the fucking help. Better return on the investment over, yeah. over the long period of time. Yeah, uh, yeah. They could I use that yeah. plastic yeah. surgery to to buy a hotel room. You know, it's Tom, you're all about <laughs> you're all about writing shit off. They probably write all yeah, that off. It's yeah. business expense. <laughs> well, worked out for Anna <laughs> Nicole Smith, yeah. right? Yeah. Hmm? Well, until she died. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, she did too early. Oh. She had she had eaves you could drop under. And that reminds me. So since we no longer have a history here on the Rich Dickman show, <clears throat> it's all been erased. Uh, we can actually what uh, history anything Ooh. we want. So as we do every week on the show, Randy, with our guests. Remember tonight, that time you <laughs> saved my father from World War Two, Rem? Yes, yes. We can talk about that later. You like saved my father from like the trenches of World War Two, and like you had a knife in your teeth, and it was amazing. I I, I wish the people at home. At the backlog to, to to jump off of, but like yeah. goddamn Rem is a hero yeah. in his own right. Yeah, thank you know, you save, saving at least my thank project, you. You're welcome. You know, my my it, family tree from like you know the craziest thing about that is I was with the French army, so it's amazing. Um, <laughs> I know, and you didn't surrender off yeah. the bat. It was, it was that was already a miracle in itself. So here in the Rich Dickman Show, what we like to do every single week is we like to look through the obituaries and talk about yeah. the dead people. Uh, who passed, and we'd like to, I don't know, we'd like to roast them. All right, so here's this guy. On May 24th, 2020, Richard Gajewski passed away. Uh, he was from Glastonbury, Connecticut. Uh, he was a beloved husband. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so let's talk about roast That's a great idea. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> yeah, his wife hated him. Dude, I definitely I want to Randy. isolate my all, all my friends and family in the community by roasting their loved ones. Yes. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. So... 
So I, obviously we've had we've had uh, Tom, Mike, and, and Cody on in the past, and, and Travis, you're here, and it's great to have you here. Um, the episodes that you guys were on have all been uh, they're they're all on hold. They're all uh, in the cloud somewhere. They're not currently active on our feed, which is a shame because they're in limbo. Yeah. So Tom, we're going to spend the rest of the night talking about making music for WWE. Uh, yeah, boy. <laughs> <I'm> t- <laughs> So, so the Rose, Rose Mortem cast, and I was lucky enough to be a, a guest with you guys just a couple of weeks ago. We did Anna Nicole Smith and just, uh, ho, uh, but, oh, you know, yeah. but, but, but the luck of the Irish, and I'm not even Irish, it was freaking, I knew all about Anna Nicole Smith. It was so great to relive her history because she's wonderful in, in every way. And Mike, you're right. What, what did she do wrong aside from live I, hard and saint. fuck lots of guys and do lots What's of drugs and want lots of, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. How many guys you fuck, Mike? (laughs) (laughs) There you go. (laughs) Did the person at the skate park ever wake up, or what? What what happened there? (laughs) A fucking murderer. I haven't seen him since, so maybe he. he He's fine then. He's probably right. He's he's not in the obituary. I've been checking. It looked like his friends like started to like help him out when I was leaving. Kind of. It looked like they came over to him. Whatever helps Breaking Bad night, Mike. (laughs) Yeah. He just got into med school. (laughs) Yeah. 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 Uh, Write me a check soon. So let's let's talk about roast mortem cast for a second. So, uh, you know, th- I think I think the the descriptions in the title, but tell us a little bit about what you do on your wonderful podcast. Give Mike, it a mic. Do the yeah. show. Do it. Let him talk sweat. about the uh, show, and then I'll berate you for not getting it right. <laughs> we yep, select same uh, here. very fine people to dis- discuss their history <laughs> and their bad deeds, and then we, right. we go into detail, and then we make <laughs> jokes. Oh man, I really want to listen to our show right now. And then we bust nuts. (laughs) Yeah, uh, (laughs) I say some cringe shit sometimes, and then uh, yeah, that's the new copy. And we keep it. We're gonna take that. We're gonna put that everywhere. I'm the worst at explaining stuff. You should give it to Tom or Travis or Cody. That's why we gave it to you. It's fun. You know what it is? It's the show all about me. You know what it is? This it's actually okay. So it's a history podcast first but secondary and probably more important over time yes. has it's been a learning experience for my cousin michael it's true to i learned express a lot himself <laughs> I, I didn't know shit before i got on the show yeah he Damn. was dumb as yeah. shit and now i'm like slightly less dumb <laughs> yeah this dude's he I'm just yeah, texted me shit all the time about hey i just solved uh you know what was yeah. that thing covid i figured it out we <laughs> could we can fix it like this self world, yeah. world hunger yeah. done yeah. look we're, yeah. we're here to teach Mike history. We're here to teach you history. And not, I, mm-hmm. I'm not talking about Rem and Randy. I'm talking about, you know, the listeners. Yeah, if I can learn anyone to hear, you know, it's fucking yeah, it's we, times. We got a regular old muzzy over here. Yeah. I'm like two fromage. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. But it's a good time. We do a lot of research, which is the worst part of the show, yeah. actually. Yeah. And then we kind of unwind. Who does? We, we do right. so much research. We basically yes. do an A&E uh, episode about Rasputin once a week. Yeah, and it's terrible. without the credibility. Yeah. We, I, I love tension it. and release. Yeah, if tattoo. you imagine gr- growing up, drinking too much, doing too many drugs in your twenties, except for Mike here, he's in his twenties. He's on the perfect amount, yeah. and then <laughs> and then realizing, oh man, I miss doing book reports every week. Right. In your 30s. That's what we do. Yeah. I do. I do. <laughs> Who the it's fuck weird. do they miss doing book reports? The fucking show. That's what oh. we do. You don't do any of the research, dude. I do. I did, I did a couple episodes. All right, yeah. You did. Yeah, you did good. You did good. And you got better. Your, Char- right. your Charles Gateau was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right. Wow. If I may. Show, if you- it- Please, please. If, no, if I may offer some constructive criticism yes. to your wonderful show, it's uh, that's where you're fucking up. Fuck you. Is the, <laughs> is the research, right? So I had this idea this week, and I said, to myself, man, this is a funny idea. If I can, if I can make this joke work, it's going to be great. And that was the obituary bullshit, right? And so I said to Randy, I said, Randy, let's come up with an obituary for somebody, and let's just get into like a whole roast mortem thing without them really knowing. And Randy says, oh, oh that sounds like a good idea. Or, I don't even think he said that much. Like, I get nothing. From my, I said, let's do John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt, and you shot it down, <laughs> yeah. you dick. Yeah. <laughs> He's not a real person. I wonder why. He's not a real person, is... Randy. Well, not with that attitude, was, uh... Rim. <laughs> All right, you got to breathe life into him. All right, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's about painting a picture. Into that. Quote. I found yeah. a biography uh, on Reddit. Okay, so that's I did all the research. It's not in the notes, Randy. He's halfway there. It's not in the notes. Okay, I texted uh, it to you. <laughs> so, so let me see, let me guess. This this, this is uh, how I fire him up. <laughs> this uh, this whole outline of this idea, it kind of stopped yeah. at the outline. No, see, 
Tom, you know, I don't know how you guys operate, but this is how I operate with my with my co-hosts and friends. Is that I have an idea and I like to bounce it off. Like, hey, what do you think? Like, I'm thinking this way, and then you know, the, the, our ray of sunshine would always come by and say, "Oh man, what if we did tweaked it this way?" And then we get it going. And then Randy, before he you know became sober, he was all into that stuff. It was great. We were talking to drunk and high Randy all the time. It's oh. amazing. Now, now, Randy's the unfit. <laughs> Rain, I love you. Look at, kidding, look at all this. Look at all this text about John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. You think I'm lying? Jeez. I don't want to. No, <laughs> nice, dude. That. Damn. That's a wall. That's a wall of not getting laid is what uh, I just saw. Yeah. Uh, so rude. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah and, continue, and, and, continue and spending Randy. spending two weeks you reading about speak. James Buchanan is definitely a wall to get laid. Uh, yeah. Rem, I, I, I got to <laughs> yeah. throw this out there. You listen to the show. You've yeah. been on the show. You have to power yeah. through. You have to command yeah. the room. With us, with the animals that are roast mortem, it's bad. Yeah. So keep pushing. Yeah. Ignore us. It's like this weird multi alpha channel. You know what I mean? You just you just gotta scream and hope what you're saying. I'd is hate coherent, to ruin you your show, I mean? but I will. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. It's Put up some more white claws uh, down. Uh, if, if if anybody is going on roast mortem right. in the future, make sure you record at a very high volume so you can just talk over everybody without trying like I did. Uh, yeah. And I got to oh, say, that's the key. oh, that's the key. You, you've done wonders with Mike because he was very quiet when he was on the first time. And uh, he's much more entertaining now. So thanks, bud. Oh, thanks. He has it in him. <laughs> We're just trying to <laughs> open that. Prying it out. Go. Open that corpse flower up. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Once you kill a man, wow, this is what happens. Good. I like it. Here. You know what? I feel nothing anymore. <laughs> you become okay. a mic. Is that a script for me? This is a read? script Jesus. for Roast Mortem. This is the kind of shit we deal with. It's like 18 pages of shit. Mine are usually longer oh my than God. all others. Nobody likes yeah. that. Holy shit. I do notes right before we start the show. Jesus Christ. This is, yeah, this is, so this was a quick one. This was Olivia Oatman. <laughs> Olive Oatman, excuse me. It's not, I think it's nine pages. Wow, that was she a was a ago. whore. Yeah, look at this typeface. Come on, Randy, you want to show dicks? <laughs> That's Cyrus 12 font. That's like, All right. I surrender. <laughs> it's Times New Roman, like nine. Why so. nine? Uh, Man, because I can't out. read yes. and I can blame it on that. Uh, Don's perfect. Yeah, you always have a reason. Uh, so make sure you guys are checking out Roast Mortem if you haven't yet, because these guys are, are wonderful, and it's always a good time to learn about what dicks uh, dead people can be. Because that's the thing. And I said this the first time you guys were on. Yeah, is that we do we spend a lot of time uh, talking about how great the dead people were. We don't spend enough time talking about what real assholes they were in real life. And you guys bring that Fucking clarity, right, yeah. my bro? I, I think that yeah. was kind of uh, yeah. that was kind of like the idea behind the show originally was we were trying to. And we do them just sometimes. We try to find people that everyone lo loves and likes and dig up shit on them. Yeah. But I feel like nine times out of ten, we just deal with like actual, <laughs> you know, Terrible murderers, yeah. and terrorists. Um, it's funny because like it's um, weird. Yeah, I I I kind of came up with the idea, and then it was refined by all of us. Um, and it was very much supposed to be like, who do you like? Not anymore. Like that was the whole rhythm. <laughs> But yeah, exactly. Um, then I did. I think my, the first episode I actually researched was Yogi Berra, and by the end of it, I was just like, "How could you not like this guy? <laughs> he was a fucking moron, but the most likable goofball in the world." Yeah, yeah. yeah you want to pinch his he, cheeks, right? Depending on yeah. his face or his, you know, exactly. lower area. So, um, yeah, it's changed a bit. The research has gotten a little heavier. I mean, I've still fucked up. I did Cary Grant. I can't stop talking about the man. He's perfect. <laughs> he yeah. is a specimen but uh we got good ones too we got who who do we oh wait uh no we didn't put that one out yet oh mike just did <laughs> phil specter oh shit out? yeah that was yeah, a, that that was was a gem. gem so if, gem. if you like music then you're gonna hate music after this <laughs> if you want to hear the best episode you listen to that one right yeah sure exactly. mike all right now that you got all this money can you grow the phil specter hair is that something that you can do or are you too young for that um, shit? When I get older, I'll probably do that. Yeah. I get might have, the like, he can probably outsource that to me, and I can get that going. <laughs> I'm going to get a mullet. With, like, my Asian going. fro. Dude, you have some right. beautiful locks on you at the moment. You know what it is? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it is. You don't need to know. I miss my locks. You just have Genetics. Well, oh, thank yeah. you. It makes me kind of blush over here. You guys are going to make out? Could that be weird? Your Maybe cousins. it's... We are cousins, so we don't... I'm not going to put that thought out there, Travis. Weird, dude. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's Maybelline. Removed, though, is it third third cousins don't count. Mascarilla Juliana. Oh, we are no, we are first no, of the, of the best. Tom was down uh, south, and now things change. They're 
They're front touching cousins. And, and one of the weird things about doing the show is apparently a lot of people slept with their cousins. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's mm-hmm. what yeah. might not be weird in the grand scheme of things, guys. Yeah. No, it's kind of weird still. You know, <laughs> that's no, really one Game thing. of Thrones yeah, made it no, cool, it's just man. a thing to do before like <laughs> the 60s. <laughs> I feel exactly. There you go. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> just going to remove myself of the conversation. Yeah, this is like, go. what are you doing? What are you all mm. doing? You at home, what are you doing? Ta- uh, ta- Mike's actually a step. <laughs> Hopefully they're having yeah, sex I'm with their cousin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm stunt cousin. Cripple if- Jesus tried to. <laughs> what? Wait, what did stunt Cripple Jesus cousin. do? I, like I listened to his to... show recently. I like it. He's funny. He, his cousin. he tried to have sex with his cousin. He was uh, working on it. Yeah, but then now he's gay. So she was hot. It's, it's kind of confusing. Oh, no, I he's thought not he was gay trying anymore. to have sex with his gay cousin. Interesting. No, no, no. It was, it no. Was, he had a hot cousin that he was into. But, you know, I, I think she was very ableist and wasn't into him. So then he turned gay for a week. Fuck that. And then after getting his dick sucked, uh, he was gay. But then he had sex with a man, decided he wasn't gay anymore. So he's back into chicks. And prostitution is now decriminalized in Michigan. So he's very excited about that. So bless good, you, Cripple Jesus. Good for him. Yeah, good on him. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Hey. God bless know. Jesus. Yeah. Who, who says yeah. that? You know what else no. is in Michigan? <laughs> Domino's headquarters. <laughs> is nice. that really? Oh, yeah. shit. So prostitution. Speaking of Domino's. Too, right? Oh, Detroit's there, too. <laughs> I'm at Papa John's, sure motherfucker, right. in Michigan. Oh, you're a yeah. Papa John's man. Oh, well, yeah. oh. Uh, we got to talk in about the that evenings, in the evenings. No, John. no Papa John's. To pay yeah. off, to pay off. A day dead. of reckoning. Tom, uh, I want to ask you about heavy metal style in a second, but we got to talk about Randy. Randy got himself a part time job. Randy, uh, it, did anything fun happen what? tonight, or you want to talk about that at all? Oh, I had to go to a church, and I said, "Praise the Lord," and pass the ammunition to a lady. <laughs> uh she she looked at me real confused that was fun uh <laughs> and she told me to take my mask I like off this. and i was like i can't because i couldn't it's like a bane mask it's this one that goes around the back it's stupid um but but, but they <laughs> tipped me like you. 10 bucks so that was cool so you know it was a weird interaction but all all, 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 all good she kept rubbing up on me though which was really awkward um i'm like why Is are it... you touching me so much that, that was your that was your tip <laughs> Yeah, quick rub, know. man. Yeah, quick rub down. Bask in it, sir. <laughs> and really enjoy like, it. My my it's husband handles the pizza, oh. so I'm, I was like, oh, okay. handles the Randy. Hell yeah. Yep. Nice. And uh, there was like three thousand fucking people there, and and then I left. I drove down a one way, got yelled at by a cop. Anyway, it was a great first day. I got like an eighty five uh, on my driver yeah, license score good. because they track everything you fucking do now. Um, really. Yeah, I used to be a general manager like six years ago for a Papa John's in Huntington, West Virginia. And like it was so different back then. You could get away with so much. But now they track where you go. And then I fucked up in my GPS fat finger and went to the wrong store. Like I was a real shitty driver for tonight, but I made I made pretty good money. So uh, it wasn't bad. There you go, buddy. Always watching. Always (laughs) watching. (laughs) Oh, Wait, Papa John, is that the guy who said the N-word? The all Papa. Tried, yeah, he, he loves that Yeah. One. On a fucking... <laughs> you know he did, uh, Yeah, it, on a fucking call about diversity or something, or, uh, <laughs> yeah. or, 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 or sensitivity training. Oh, he was like, okay. but I don't understand. Colonel Sanders could say the N-word. Why can't I? Uh, but he's actually said the N-word. Because the Day of Reckoning is yeah. upon you. Yeah. Oh, let's be honest. Like, let's be honest. We weren't there, Okay. We weren't there. Uh, <laughs> I I don't think the guy's a nice guy. I don't really have good vibes off him, but it seems like oh, a lot a of people of shit, had though. it out for Papa. He's very sweaty, but Papa Bliss. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why is he so because sweaty? Because he's wax. He's made out of wax, man. Like I, I met or well, I, I met the guy twice, and Did whenever you really? the first time I went wow. down, yeah, the first time that I went to the headquarters, uh, we were getting a rollout for this new scheduling program, and I had to train everybody because everyone else was old as fuck and didn't know how to use a computer. So they sent me down to to, to learn, and he came into the room while the lady was talking about it and said, "Excuse me," and she didn't hear him and kept talking, and. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, everybody turned to look at him, and she kept rambling on. And he said, "Excuse me again." Didn't hear him. Kept talking. <laughs> fucking after lunch, she was fucking gone. Never, really? never saw that lady again. Probably dead. Wow. Probably dead. <laughs> was she black? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> but also, that would have been even funnier. Uh, they they, imp- they that's didn't hire Randy. Her now that I would not and, call that funnier, sir. That <laughs> is <laughs> certainly damning. Randy, more uh, importantly, did you meet Bo, the heir to the empire? N- no, that's oh that's man, that's important. His son Bo, you Bo never is seen in that? the house. Yeah, Bo's in the house. I'm playing Xbox, Dad. Please leave yeah, me please alone. Yeah, please leave me alone. All I know is Xbox. Feed me pizza. When I go into the pool, I play Xbox. 
When I eat Cheetos, there's an Xbox screen inside of my Cheetos bag. I'm 24. I'm inviting over 15-year-old girls who have never had a hot tub experience Whoa. before. Just oh as friends. God. This is yeah, Bo. Fuck off. Bo wow. is in the know. Okay? This is what he says. <laughs> Very twisted people here. The the pizza empire. Okay? We all oh, know I can't th- wait for this guy to die this and you guys do a show on him. Yeah. Holy shit. If you think oh, just one on guy named now. John... You think one guy named John saying the N-word is bad? You got to see what Dr. Domino did. Holy fuck. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the man himself. Wow. Real nightmare. I think it's actually... The- he invented uh, slurs. Leopold II. I think that was his nickname. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Really? No, 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 no. Very bad. Very bad <laughs> really guy. Yeah. cheesy bread. Either way, enough of this edgy stuff. Let's get more wholesome, yeah. right? Yeah, n- n- no more of this edgy Bobby pizza. Yeah, smart. So, Randy, I look forward so to smart. your adventures delivering pizzas and, and all the uh, all the stories that will come with that. So, um, Randy's Pizza Corner segment. If I had a guy to make bumpers, we'd make a new bumper for that. But that guy is no longer. Do, 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 Yo, do, do, bumpers. Do, do. Yeah, we do bumpers, corner. Mike. Boop. We, we do bumpers. So, bumper speaking of here. bumpers. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, so here in the Rich Dickman Show, we'd like to give advice to our listeners. And also, our listeners send us in nominations for what we call Dick of the Week, okay? And and uh, so oh. I'm going to let you guys choose what you want to do first. You want to give some advice out, or do you want to nominate some Dick of the Weeks, or do you know review some of that stuff? I like Dick, so let's do Dick. Yeah, you like Dick? Let's okay. Some dick. Let's see some I like dicks. the cut hey, of your jib, sir. Okay. So I still got to play these bumpers because the guy still gets paid for them. So let me let me hit the bumper and, uh, and there we go. Yeah, that's fine. It is now time to introduce this week's finalists for Dick of the Week. Doesn't sound like and him. Doesn't here's really? our first nominee. All right. So Hot Drummer News Babe sent us a nomination for last week's episode. However, we didn't do Dicks of the Week last week because uh, we had only one Dick of the Week, and that would be the HR lady. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta be hey, everybody. It's a fully vaccinated Mars coming at you. And you know what's oh, funny? Nice. I didn't need a goofy incentive like the one I'm going to tell you about in just a minute to get my second <laughs> shot. I just did it because it's really what you should do to, uh, you know, keep diseases away. But we've got people in Romania who are lining up at Dracula's castle to get their shots because so... A COVID-19 vaccination center has been set up on the periphery of Romania's Bran Castle, and that's said to be the inspiration for Dracula's ancestral home in Bram Stoker's book. And every weekend through May, vaccination marathons will be held just outside the 14th century hilltop castle where no appointment is needed in an attempt to encourage people to protect themselves against COVID-19. We wanted to show people a different way to get the vaccine, said Alexandru Priscu, the marketing manager at the castle. Those brave enough, this is what it says, to get a Pfizer vaccine shot receive a, quote, vaccination diploma, which is illustrated with a fanged medical worker brandishing a syringe. And besides the diploma, people will get free entry to the castle's torture rooms. um, And those are outfitted with 52 implements of medieval torture. So bonus. Yeah. Wow. So um, I think all anyone who needs that manner of incentive is a. Dick of the week. And, you know, we're doing it here, too, where you get a beer, you'll get $100, you get a cookie if you do a no-brainer, very simple thing, and it makes me mental. So, yeah, there's your dick of the week right there. Get your vaccinations. Peace out! Was that the government of Romania? Is that that's pretty lottery? cool. Mm-hmm. Yo, we're in New York, dog. If you get your vaccination, thank you, De Blasio. Yeah, you get French fries. We, yeah, we got it. We got me and Travis just before coming on the show. We're, we watched four times on repeat. We watched Bill De Blasio talk about how if you go to Shake Shack after you get your vaccination, show him a card, you get oh free yeah. French fries, and he's eating them on cameras. Ten o'clock in the morning, he's got to ask his PR guy. Oh, it's too early. Eat this. Might be breakfast. He looks like he's going to rape you the entire time. Yeah. Like, like it's, awful. it's like. He's got a joke in his head that he, it's the weirdest thing. It's truly very bizarre um, to watch a man who's supposed to run the greatest city in the world hold back laughter when there's no joke <laughs> at all. <laughs> and he's telling you, he's just like, Look at when, you, when, you, when, you, when you're buying to a burger like this, think about vaccines. <laughs> so, so I don't know. Please, I urge you to watch this I, on your free time. It's I'm so a history weird. nerd. I'd rather have access to the torch and also a bondage nerd. I would much rather be interested. Go to a that is a, sick. A, That's a, a, yeah, 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 yeah. Get the yeah. shot. I think. 
Right. All right. You so know, you're a sucker for it. I mean, I think you should get it either way. But like, I'd be like, oh fuck, go to the castle. See if Dracula if they're doing stuff. it in Dracula's castle, why aren't they doing like a fucking fang like injection? Right. So it looks oh, like you got a fucking, fucking bite by a vampire in your mm. neck or your arm or some shit. Oh, like, shit. To make, make it be a hot nurse yes. with fangs, and then yeah, Moderna, you could make Moderna Romania. like. You could be like Moderna team werewolf, and then like Pfizer team vampire. Mm, yeah. Look, vampires. Whatever. Oh yeah, they with the changed Russians. these vampires. You know, two hundred years ago, yeah, they had a cape. Yeah, they had uh, very pale skin, and now they're whatever. sparkly. Not now sparkly. they're you know now they're billionaires. Yeah. Now it's Fuck Elon that. Musk and Bill yeah. Gates and people like this who are the the modern day vampire. Very influential people. Tom, don't get me Randy. started on corporate vampires. No, no, they're Randy, actually right, wrong vampire. show. Write Bill Gates down somewhere. I got, we got to talk about Bill Gates in a little bit. I don't let me forget. Oh, okay, right. I'll write it on my palm with my uh, in my Palm uh, Pilot here. Thank Bill. you. You got the notes, Randy. You got to get in the notes Gates? and do it. G A Y. Is it is it, is it, is it, is it like the uh, is it is it is it the Gates in Florida? Or the yeah, Gates, it's Matt the... Gates. Yeah, the guy who rapes okay. children. That oh, one's fun. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Yes. You oh, got sex trafficking. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hot Drummer News Babe. You're going to be on the show next week, so you can. she, she will be the definitely not uh, oh. main host next week. All right, so we have another Dick of the Week nomination from go. longtime listener Svensson, who obviously hasn't listened uh, to the last episode. Hello to Sven. Ren and Ray and everybody that helped make the Rich Dick Sugar Sugar Ray show my favorite beep. podcast to listen to. <laughs> this is Svensson here, and this is my nomination for Dick of the Week. This week, we actually have a place as Dick of the Week. This place Another is place. Spring Two Hill places, Suites huh? in downtown Chicago. Let me tell you my story. So I decided I'm going to head to downtown Chicago, my hometown, for a little rest and relaxation. I figured two nights in the city, doing some dance and some party and stuff like that, you know, would do me some fun. Anyway, I, I get to the hotel and the staff was very nice. The staff was wonderful. But when I get to the hotel room, that's where we had a problem. I'm going to try to sum it up the best way that I can. These were the major problems with the room. First, there was toenail clippings by the bed, the uh, nightstand. I don't know how the heck the toenail clippings got caught in the right carpet the by the nightstand and wasn't vacuumed up. But that was disgusting. Second thing, the couch had a fold-away bed, but the couch was extremely dirty. You could physically see the dirt on top of the couch. Plus, it had many stains in it. I'm sure some of them were coffee stains. And some of the other stains, I don't even want to know what they were. Then, the shower. You couldn't open up the shower door if the toilet seat was down. That's how compact the bathroom was. You had to lift up the toilet seat to try to open up the shower door. And the last thing about this room is that... It had light switch, <laughs> but the light switches didn't go to any of the major lights that you saw around you. The switch immediately coming into the door when you flicked it up should have turned on the lamp that was right next to the door. No, it turns on a light midway across the room somewhere. <laughs> then there's a switch line. near the bathroom, <laughs> which you would think would turn on the bathroom light or maybe the heater. No, that switch turns on. A bay across from the bathroom. Oh, and that too. The bathroom also didn't have a heater in the bathroom. Oh, so when he got done with the shower, it was freaking cold. So anyway, I'm sure listening to that, you'll understand why. Now, I got this place from Hotels.com, and it had a 3.5 rating, which is pretty good out of 5. So hey, but anyway... Yeah, I do not recommend staying at the Spring Hill Suites in downtown Chicago. Rem, Ray, I hope you guys are doing well. This is Fenton here. Take care. Jeez. So, Fenton, first you got to do what my wife does. If my wife doesn't see a hotel that's four stars or more, we don't stay there. Uh, so you got to oh, get yeah, a better rating Kristen system. Is. She's so fucking bad. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. yeah. I, uh, I can really relate to Fenton at the moment. So when I was down in Savannah, yeah, we were going to go for two and a half weeks. And we said, fuck it, let's stay for three and a half weeks, last minute there. So we popped over to a Quality Inn, sure. which is certainly a misleading name. <laughs> <laughs> was that Quality Tom? Now we ha- <laughs> I will describe. You be the judge. Right. We walked in there. Oof. 
So it was a non-smoking room, and it, it like someone, though, so. like the cleaning lady was smoking. Like I could see it oh. coming through the th- through the window. You know the 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 streaks of smoke. Like oh, this is a non-smoking room. You can only smoke in it a little. Cool. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So Just it's by the vent. Yeah. Uh, very dangerous people there. Um, all all creeds and colors of people who just wanted to uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? It was every every type of person. You didn't need to add that. Well, I didn't want weirdo. to apply anything. Any jazz stains? There are a lot. There <laughs> were jazz stains. Yeah. Um, I tried to do laundry. Wow. The dryer okay. didn't work. In fact, the clothes came out wetter than they <laughs> <laughs> did. It's the other when I put them in. Jeez. That's very so uh, It's very hot down there, down in Savannah. So we hung it all over the room. All, we figured out how to clothesline things. Uh, they didn't dry for four days, and when <laughs> it was dried, it smelled like that very cigarette. That the cleaning lady smoked. So, um, <laughs> Svensson, I feel you because that's just the surface level of my gripes. And don't fucking twist that into some t- racist shit on me on that bit. I was fucking doing yeah. a caveat. No, no, you're you're good. Just, you're just speaking his truth, Cody. You're probably spending a lot of time in hotels next few couple weeks. I'm in one right yeah. now, motherfucker. Look at that Woo. nice. Any uh, any issues with your hence, hotel? Hence the shoddy internet. Yeah. Uh no. But I, I I am running into that weird like sensation where like I'm in a state where it's just like max uh, masks are optional for vaccinated people. So like I, I I turn the corner and I see like unmasked people and I just have to assume like oh yes you're vaccinated yeah it's fine. But like it, it is weird for me to like I, I have to make the decision of like do I wear the mask because it's safer or do I take the mask off to virtue signal. That I'm not like a low balling Neanderthal right. and actually got my like two doses. And Cody, shit. you can't win. Oh, you so, can't like, win. I, I've been playing with that no. all day. Wear half of the mask. No, I can't win. It's, yeah. it's a goddamn catch. Wear a 22. mustache mask. Mm-hmm. Wear half of the mask or yeah. just identify just wear, like, as a vaccine for my test and be happy like me. So Lie about it. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Identify as all right, vaccinated. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so Travis, Travis left. left. Yeah, I think he went to take a pee break. We could have taken a pee break. It would have been fine. Yeah. Uh, but Randy, do you have thoughts? No, we, we have two places, actual places nominated. Oh, it was Hot Tumor no- News Babe <sighs> nominating Romania or the people who needed the incentive to get vaccinated. Oh, it's a little it, it, it was Romania, unclear. Or, now we did yeah. some yeah. coverage on this. It's it's not strictly just Romania. It's the area of Wallachia, which the oh, castle is okay. located in. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, okay. uh, which apparently oh, okay. is a bunch of plebs. Because they're spinning Gary Oldman and telling you that that's your nurse now. Wow. Weird. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Did- I, I just love Svensson and, and the way that he calls in and, and his complaints and his gripes. Uh, but Romania and like in here in Ohio, we're giving away the Vax a million a uh, million dollars to anybody who who's vaccinated or not anybody oh, who's vaccinated yeah. five people who are vaccinated what? um and the ohio lottery is running it so i'm wow. in that database now because <laughs> hopefully i can quit this second job um yeah but uh, i wish you the best yeah cuomo yeah. just announced the old vax and scratch because uh, he's got to be <laughs> clever and then immediately uh, after announcing it, just like Bill de Blasio just went and raped people right on camera. It was the yeah. weirdest thing. Yeah. Cuomo likes to he's, scratch. It's gone now. Yeah. He's Bill de Blasio his... couldn't get it up because he was eating so much Five Guys. But he still molested people. <laughs> he's, he's doing such <laughs> a deadbeat dad summer now. legalizing weed and just trying to make everyone forget that he has sexual harassment charges out there. It's so funny. Yeah. What? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Go the when? <laughs> I, but, uh, yeah. Learn to quote. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as far as uh, who I would go with for Dick of the Week or any other thoughts, um, the toenail clippings kind of pushed it over the edge for me. Like, how do you yeah, miss it's that? Gross. Yeah. It's fucking gross. Like, yeah. Yeah. How, yeah. How, how, like, you, you got to pick those up and you got to put them in your mouth so that you build your immunity system. All right. <laughs> that's, that's the only way you're going to survive oh. out there. Um, yes. So that's that's my opinion on the on the matter. Yeah. Like the poor man's yeah, nachos. Yeah. Cody, <laughs> Cody, who's our who's our dick of the week this week? I gotta go with the hotel pe- because I'm 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 in hotels for like you know the the, the next like month of my life and it, it's got to be like 
the ass hat that left the toenail yeah. clippings. I, I wholeheartedly concur with the dearest Randy. Here. Maybe not the ass hat, but like the cleaning people who didn't clean up the goddamn toenails. I mean, you have one job: fucking pick up the dirt and the clo- toenails. Yeah, the ass hat in yeah. question. The, the, Jesus. Well, we don't know that it wasn't the cleaning people like clipping. Yeah, the but we also know that the cleaning it's, people it's, didn't it's, design the goddamn bathroom layout. So oh, yeah, come on. Oh, there you go. Okay. All Wouldn't right. it be Here great if there was a person a like Nathan Lane uh, in Mousetrap, but instead of hunting mice, he hunted toenail clippings? <laughs> that would be great. That would be oh. great. They need to come up with a profession for that. <laughs> <laughs> you might need help getting that over. We could try. I charge for the hour, but we can get right. that going. Yeah. Like, hey, brother, who no one knows the name of, we have to find yes. these toenails. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, Tom, who's our dick of the week? Who, who you got? Romania oh, or the hotel? Romania, Romania. I've been, uh, yeah. I, uh, yes, yeah, really? Cody, you're just at the beginning of it, so it scared you. I've just braved it, and I'm cool now. I'm stronger, perhaps, maybe, and you will be too. You just gotta stay there long enough. <laughs> I'm just a no, 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 no. It's developing. You're fine. Look, yeah, I don't like bribery, and I think that it's a form of bribery. What, seeing the torture device? No, it's just like, come on down to Disneyland. We're in Romania. We got a guy with... Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> like, to me, it's like, this is the dumbest shit in the fucking world. Like, I would never... It's a tourist trap. It's not working. Yeah. Well, it, it is working. That's the thing. Like, I would just never... I don't tie things together like that. Like, my general health and going on a vacation. Like, what is wrong with these well, 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 also, like, you imagine who's getting vaccinated in Romania. It's Romanians. That live near <laughs> Vlad the Impaler's fucking castle. So that's know. like Bill de Blasio being like, hey, guess what? If you get vaccinated, we're going to take you up to the top of the Empire State <laughs> Building. It's fucking great up I there. I thought you, you were going with the 9-11 thing. I was just like, <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to yeah. we're gonna take two lucky winners and we're going to Spider-Man them on top of the Twin Towers that we just rebuilt for fun. Because we're low on funds, but we got to get people vaccinated. You know what I mean? So th- not every floor is occupied. That might cost a lot, but we're going to we're gonna hire a couple cultists. Are you, are you talking about like a Universal crazy. Studios 9-11 ride? Yeah, we are. Okay, we are. Cool. <laughs> and, and it's and it's for and it's oh, for vaccinations. It's to keep your head straight. Oh, well, yeah. okay. it's to yeah. motivate you guys. Come on, right. <laughs> come on. We're in this together. That's all. Sorry, uh, I'm, I'm going off. But um, yeah, you're good. You good? That's me. So like Romania for Mike. Uh, uh, excuse me, from Romania for Tom. Mike, who's your dick yes. of the week? Is it Romania or is it uh, the hotel? You. Um, make sure you get this right, Mike. <laughs> I go to the hotel. I mean, Romania is pretty cool. I go to the castle. All right, I'll check All out right. the cast. It works for him. That's what. Okay. Yeah. 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 Antonio right. Travis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I gotta. I gotta We're go. Done. Done I gotta go Mike. hotel. But I wish somebody would combine the two because I want like the torture chamber with the toenail clippings. I'm sure there's a Almost hotel like a hotel yeah. Transylvania. Yeah. There's, there's a kink hotel place. somewhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Coming to the Friday society. Know where's one's at. So are yeah. you trying to take, instead of picking one dick for the week, you're trying to take a double penetration for the week? Dude, I'm trying to, oh, like, trying to have, like, a wharf dick. Oh, very hot. Yeah. A wharf dick? It's two That's two different piss streams. Oh, they go two. different ways. By the way, you just reminded me. I just found, I was watching a movie on Shudder. I just picked these 80s movies randomly. <laughs> uh, Blind Date has the lady who played Helena, uh, Elena Troy in it. And she's topless for a little bit. So, really? uh, oh, nice. uh, stop trying to freeze frame your fucking Star Trek and head over to Blind Date. Now on Shutter. Shout out to now them. On Shutter. <laughs> right. Rim- Promo code RMC. Thank you, sir. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ray of Sunshine has to get paid. After okay. much deliberation, there we go. This was a good debate. You guys did well. Consensus that this week's yeah. Dick of the Week award goes to. It's going to go to the hotel. Uh, not only did it get the most votes, but the toenail clippings are horrible. Yeah. And having a toilet yeah. that impedes the opening of your shower door is awful. Uh, but, uh, Mike, I'm not far Big off. Move. Wait, yeah. did you say hotel? Who said Ro- No, Tom. Tom said Romania. There's too many, and I'm getting drunk, so I'm sorry. Um, hey, part of my argument yeah. had to do with a 9-11 theme park ride. So <laughs> I understand it might be a little hot topic, okay? Yeah, you you may have just we named nudge. the episode, Tom. I, I think, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna need pictures of all your faces and put us on a roller coaster coming off the twin towers. I can. Move, I'm gonna leave yeah. work early to do this tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be great. Never, never right. forget. <laughs> never forget. <laughs> never forget. I got vaccinated. <laughs> Always remember. Never forget. Oh, that was good. Uh, Sorry man, for hijacking your show dollars. so much. Was it I'm, I'm loud tonight. No, Tom, it's okay. I'm. I am. I am. I am feeling my way around as a as a blind man. 
And it's it's uh, it's very helpful. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I'm happy. Oh, shit, we don't have any voice. I hope. I hope so. I hope you guys are having a good time. All right. So let's get ahead and let's give let's give some advice. All right. There's a little section a segment that we call "Thinking with Your Dickman." You want segments? We've got Not even segments. On the show so much money. Fucking it's guy. Thinking with your dickman. I gotta get that job. You know. All right. So you're thinking with Dickman, we have our, our listeners, they write in to us with, with their issues and problems, and we, we try to solve them for them. And I've got, um, this one's a couple weeks old because we had, uh, we had some other things going on. Uh, but this is from Jefferson. <clears throat> Jefferson writes in, oh, Jesus Christ. Jefferson writes in, oh, hi. Today is my first day writing for <clears throat> advice. I not know how to say, but I like you podcast. Please help with my life. Soon the American holiday arrives. Girlfriend wants me to father, but we not marry. Do I put baby inside before Mother's Day? Thank you many times. Oh, God. No. Uh, Travis, I told you not to get that drunk and ride into the show. Was that, uh, thank you. That wasn't you, was that, it? It might have been me. I just want to know American oh, no. cake pie in her. No? Yes? Don't say it wasn't you, for the record. But in my country, we like oh. to put cream in legs. Do me a favor. Say it wasn't you. <laughs> wasn't no. Me. It wasn't you. Okay. All right. My advice Thanks, is go kill yourself. Uh, I think it's a trap. Good luck. <laughs> 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 I'd run, yeah, she wants us to We only have 12 <laughs> listeners, <laughs> Tom. Jesus Christ. We can't have them all kill themselves. Yeah, we, I'll get you another one. <laughs> This guy reminds me of those dudes who respond to like porn clips and like porn models and be like, oh, baby, oh, yeah. you're so pretty. I show you my pee pee. Come marry me. Right. That type of shit. Yeah. Be my wife. It's very strange that a yeah. lot of those guys are like Dubai millionaires. Yeah. They just like, they're like, I don't check word. I just writing what I feel. <laughs> oh, oh your, no. bi- your big mommy milk make hard, hard, come sickle. Good thing I own one fifth Logitech, many keyboards needed for comes on them. I will yes. get you five million subscribers in two seconds. Hard come. <laughs> See, we've we've talked to several porn stars on the show, right? And I always ask this question about these guys. And, and like, it's twenty twenty one. You're not allowed to label anybody, but we know who's writing this shit. It's like Indian dudes and Middle Eastern dudes, and they're all writing the same type of shit to these women. And I I would ask them, you know, like, how fucking annoying does that get? And they never give me a straight answer. And also, you can't fact check me either because all those episodes are gone. So I have to ask them again. Uh, but it's the same fucking question all the time. It's like, oh, baby, you so hot. You marry me, that type of shit. Anyways, Mike, as a man in his young 20s, if you had a really hot bitch who was all up in your pants and wanted you to put a baby in her, like, what, do, what are you doing in that, in that situation? Um, it's too I'd close run, to Mike's story. I'd run away. <laughs> He's run away. Yes. He's run, yeah. Yes. I mean, if she's really hot and she got, I got money, I don't have any money, so I can't afford a kid. <laughs> That's not true. You have Dogecoin, though. Better yeah. than money. It's on its way. I'm going to be rich soon. We say Mike is from <laughs> Long Island, but we don't really know where Mike actually is from. What's that supposed oh. to mean? Well, because you're always running away. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I say run from that chick, get a new chick. Yeah. Run from the chick. Unless well, she's got money, don't run away. If she has money, stay with her. Put the kid yeah. in there. Yeah. Who's a dude? It's like crippled Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's my advice. It's probably shitty advice. But. Cody, Cody, <laughs> uh, as, as a man uh, on the run himself on vacation, uh, do you have any advice for for this gentleman whose whose girlfriend wants to have a baby in her by Mother's Day, which already passed? So this is an old old letter. We got the July Fourth, the American holiday coming up. So maybe <laughs> no, nothing. Uh oh, Cody's. <laughs> we lost Cody's audio, uh, and he. I think Cody's yeah. beating it right now. Cody, you beat it. What's up? All Cody, right, you Cody. Yelled at? Uh oh, Co- Cody's okay. silent. Randy, see if you can fix that one. We're gonna move to Travis. Travis, oh, you got you got kids all over the country. I'm sure. Yeah, you know, it's tough <laughs> being me. Y'all have alimony. Was that it? What do you do with Alimonies. kids? Alimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got alimony. <laughs> no, I have no, I have no clue about kids. So, uh, because <laughs> you know, you should abort by the age of five. I mean, that should be the legal <laughs> age to abort by. Just give away um, the yeah. What what is that? 17th trimester yeah yeah yeah. okay (laughs) cool yeah i just had something and i lost it oh shit i was thinking about cody and his dilemma you run away you know what we should sell insurance oh there he is oh okay so 
Uh, <laughs> I'm, am I back? Yeah. You're Hello, back. I'm back. Captain, Cody, you're back. back. Can you hear me? You're we back. need your hot take. I lost my train of thought entirely. It, it, no, it's weird. You just got to... You got to crouch tight and you got to like wet your finger and stick it in the wind and wait for like, you know, the entire next year to come mm. by. And then you got to roll your dice again. It, it, it's that Ooh. weird like, you know, MMORPG thing where you you, you got to you get to roll your dice, but you have to goddamn pick when, my friend. Right. Otherwise, it just, you know, get, gets gets lost in the chaff. Yeah. So it, it's a pick and choosy moment, especially when it comes to impregnation. This coming from, you know, a father of nothing but like, you know, toilet bowl residue. <laughs> But that, that's me, oh and that's all I can input right now. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. There you go. Am I sorry? That was good advice. Not yet. Yeah, Sound right. advice. Yeah. Shut up, Mike. Oh, Tom, good. Tom, you got you got thoughts on this one? I don't know. Like, I, I feel like we're spending a lot of time <laughs> on, on it. And, Tom, do you agree with like, me? With you? Yeah, you yeah with me? <laughs> of course I agree with you. I agree with Mike, but also I feel like we're spending a lot of time on a man whose email uh, was not fully formed. Uh, which is no. kind of, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, oh. ah, kill yourself. It's <laughs> fine. No. That's a form of running away. Oh. Yeah. No, I wouldn't oh. do it. Don't kill yourself. You run away, you make I'm not going to kill myself. I'm not going to kill myself. I'm telling this guy, if he's really, pff, come on, Logitech. Come on. I own oh, Logitech. Logitech. Oh. I, I'm sorry. I'm over. I'm done. Wake me up inside. Yeah, no, it, Logitech it, makes fine me. peripherals. <laughs> They're just fine. All oh right, no, the mouse the is a Logitech. Okay. Oh, okay. I got I all we Logitech. Arguing. I talk oh, no okay. shit. A vasectomy, Sorry. You get one of those. Ooh, shit. Yeah. Bad. No, no. Ooh. All good, Randy. Oh, and also I got, vasectomy. I got angry. Vasectomy. No, nah, dude. Vas- Randy, vasectomy. I got you back, man. I, I promise. No, nah, fuck that. Page on the tech. What you got to do is after you get married and you have a kid, you get the wife's tubes tied. You don't get a vasectomy because fuck that. What kind of cut gets her fucking their, their, their shit snip, man? Like my old co-host Huel. That no, that's not me. Not for me, man. No way. They were in there. Well, they were in my wife to cut her open. One. I'm like, hey, doc, you can get right in there and just, 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 you know, look, little knots in the two different tubes. And I, you know, dude, you know, as we'll Papa Roach of, said, I, I, I go by the Papa Roach, dude, cut my life into yeah. pieces. Right. This is my yeah. last resort. Cut right. that shit. You've been a huge advocate for vasectomies for a long time. I, I'm a very, I'm a, I, I'd say I'm a vicar of Papa Roachisms. Right. And so. you've actually, I believe, you've had a third <laughs> testicle wow. installed to your penis. Just so you can get wow. cut off later. Uh, fourth, actually. Fourth. Yeah. Okay, we're up to fourth. Yeah. That's good. He's got four. Hey, oh, Travis, wow. have you heard the Spanish version of um, uh, Scars by uh, Papa Roach? <laughs> no, I have not. <laughs> Is it like Yo Soy Langosta? Or like what? Yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. I used to listen to it all the time in 2010. So it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Randy, do you have any thoughts on, uh, on, on Jefferson's letter here before we wrap it well, up? Well... Let's see. So at the age of 20, Lay it out. Lay it out I, I bought a house, uh, got married, and had a kid. And by 25, I lost everything but the kid. Uh, so my advice is no, wait till you're older because shit changes. Uh, and this woman will change, and so will you. And if you don't make a huge effort to grow together, you're going to grow apart. And then, and then you have to work two jobs because you make decisions. Like having a kid at twenty, so that's yeah, my that's advice. Good advice. To it. Yeah. yeah, I I think I respect that, advice. Randy. That's good. That's good. I think a serious tone like that really yeah. makes the show more dynamic and uh, not <laughs> yeah, a single joke of, there. That's real shit. That's real shit molasses right there, yeah, fire helps respect. the sugar. Would go down. you Would you consider <laughs> taking a trip to the nine eleven? <laughs> it's in 4D. My kid. It's yeah, in 4D. Not, no, not you, Randy. I'm talking to this person. I was like, as an oh, alternative huh. to. I'm sorry. I, I transitioned. I thought you could there. get me in for free. I thought you could get me uh, in for free. Uh, no, I'm to New York. I will get you disappointed for free. You're too no, tall. you can get a fast pass, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> fast pass, uh, top of 9 11. Fuck the top. <laughs> Uh, restaurant of the world. What was the one up there? Restaurant top, top of, the of the world. Top of the world. Top yeah, of the world. Top of the world. Come on uh, down. Red Lobster. Well, Windows, Windows of the world. Right? Dad died. Windows it? of the world. Yeah. No, yeah. no I do. I do. Uh, one of my exes' dads died. She was a. Uh, he was a firefighter. And it was very sad. Yeah. But also, well, well, I'm myself. You. I need to be myself. <laughs> I need to make jokes because I remember yeah. it different. I and remember it different. Exes. I was twelve. Hey, f- Fuck you guys. Randy's both Randy's parents are dead. Okay. And they weren't in 9 Oh, yeah. Opioid so, epidemic. Yep. Opioid yeah. epidemic. Damn. I love to make jokes oh. about the opioid yeah. oh. epidemic myself. It's, uh, it's just... you know, hillbilly Roll heroin. With the punches. 
Yeah, Pop you know, and Zen. You hand out passes for that Jesus, or no? Tom, you were 12 in 9 11? Yeah. I, th- oh, I think baby. I was too. Holy shit. I, think we I all thought were. you were yeah. as old as I was, Tom. I was fucking I was 20 sixth years grade. old when 9 11 happened. I thought we were the I same was age, age too. No, yeah, I was, no, I was in grade. sixth grade, dude. No, wrong. you weren't. We were in eighth grade. No. Oh, yeah, eighth grade, dude. We were in the sixth grade. Okay. You were Fuck all of you guys. They're all being this old now. They were used to the fucking TV. Jesus Christ. Mm. Jefferson, here's the thing. Uh, if, if a woman ever comes to you and says, I want a baby, that's your clue to do what Mike says. Get the fuck out. Run away. All right? Because yeah. women who come to you saying they want yeah, babies are fucking crazy. crazy and yeah. you don't need. As, as Hulhauser once said many times, uh, don't stick your dick in crazy. All right? <laughs> Only no, sometimes. Once many times. You gotta be careful. Yeah, yeah let her come careful. inside you. you. Dabble in a little. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get, Only stick your dick in crazy if the day of the week ends in watch. <laughs> and don't tell her your real name. Play. Yeah, there you go. Get yeah. into ass stuff. Yeah. All right, we should move on. Yeah. I wow, honestly, I could. Yeah. I'm getting really sick of this should guy. We? we could write a thesis about this. I'm real sick of Jefferson. Okay. All right. Jefferson, don't write in anymore. You're you're fired from writing in the show. <laughs> Jesus, this is awful. That's right. You, you write into our show. Right, right into, into roast mortem. Don't have that kid. <laughs> Actually, call my voicemail. I have a voicemail line that I use for my other show, Heavy Hole. Hold on. Uh, oh shit! What is it? Every time. Really quick. Hold oh. on. I forget the number every <laughs> single time because I I never. Yeah, learned. we don't have like a fun little ditty song for ours. <laughs> no, it's just like shut up, you. It's word. just Tom screaming at it. All right. Where is it? What's the number? I, I wish know. we had voicemail so I could play this voicemail bumper. It's my favorite. We don't have voicemails this week, Randy. You think we'd have a ton of voicemails oh. with people like yelling about what happened? Oh. Hold to on, a ray of one sunshine. second. Oh, what? What are, you, what are you doing? Are you leaving a voicemail? Okay. All right. So nice. we're gonna, we're gonna... <laughs> All right. If you're at home and you're listening to this and you want to call into my other much more serious podcast where no jokes are made. Uh, heavy hole. We have a billion listeners, and all of our money is in Doge. Six three one, eight three seven three two seven four. I'll say that again. Six three one, eight three seven three two seven four. Tell us what your favorite malignancy album is, and we will put you on the show. That's right, John Adams. Yeah. Call him. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Malignancy. I've I've never I've never heard of malignancy. Well, most. Re- are we not friends Ren, anymore? Come I'm on. Sorry. We are, we're friends. So, we're friends. It's okay. not. All right. It, yeah. But I don't know what half the shit Tom's talking about. Yeah, I don't know it either. See this? This is mo- yeah. That's oh, like fetuses. Oh, I just let him talk realize. most of the time. Can't read hey, it. Tom, <laughs> have you ever heard? Have you ever heard of um, of Leo on YouTube? Leo Morricioli with Frog Leap Studios. He does heavy metal covers of pop songs. Don't get me started. No, I do. No, no, I don't know who he is. I don't know who that or she. I don't know. Leo is. Uh, it's a he. Guy. It's a. He. I think he's he's got to be in Northern Europe, like with like a Sweden or Finland or something, because he's got a weird like. Hello, thank you for listening to my music, like that type of shit. But okay. he does heavy. He like. It's my favorite thing on YouTube right now is listening to this guy do heavy metal covers of 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 regular music. He did like WAP, uh, WAP, WAP. Randy, I don't know how to, he's muted. It's it, WAP, wet ass, dumbass. Wet ass WAP. vagina. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. With he, he, arms he, he, wide he, he, open. Adele songs. <laughs> a whole bunch of shit. Anyways, so that's not going anywhere. Um, did you I, leave a voicemail, Randy? Am I playing a voicemail now? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like, it, okay. it's the greatest 45 seconds ever. Is it, uh, okay. is it actually Papa John? Are you going to channel him? Yeah. Do we have to censor this? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would have been get, a good get one. one of these for your, get one of these for your, uh, your heavy metal podcast, Tom. Mm-hmm. Huh? Thanks for calling the Dickman line at 860-316-4776. Please leave a message after the beep. It's voicemails. That one what hurts the, the most, that? Randy. That was our voicemail bumper, Tom. Stop it. Here's the voicemail. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought I that was the actual voicemail. voicemail. For the rear roast mortem guys about Sam Dixon. I, I think that's a good. I think that's a good. A good name. And uh, Randy Fox. Randy Fox. NFHC sucks. 
and uh, Papa John's is better than Domino's, I guess, because that's that's the thing. And <laughs> hello, Twitter world. I'm gonna do OJ Simpson on Twitter now. Uh, whiskey dick, whiskey dick, whiskey dick. <laughs> yeah, dog. <laughs> <laughs> So who, who is who is Simp Dixon? <laughs> oh, you Simp obviously Dixon. haven't listened to the latest episode of Roast Mortemcast. I did on my commute today. It was wonderful. Yeah. He's... Yeah. Also, that sounds like the Wario of Rich Dickman. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what did I fuck up? Simp Dixon? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> It's uh, a me, yeah. Simp Dixon. <laughs> so, uh, John Harden was his name, right? John Harden was a, a famous gunslinger, and he was in association for a short while with a, a guy named Simp Dixon. Now, weren't they cousins? I'm drunk enough. Uh, yeah, they were cousins. Um, Step cousins. Well, pff, got, careful now. Yeah. Uh, careful they, now. they put, Ke- Lee's they reaching put their out. dick holes inside of each other, right? The Texas yeah. yes. stock, you called it. Yep. Now they're engaged. Oh, really? Yeah. It's awesome. I'm really happy. Five dead but bodies later. Either way, this is how you how you do a show like Roast Mortem is that if there's no one with a funny name, you just throw your script out and you start over again. Yeah, and that's why we're all that's so tired. All that's what time. I do. We're just tired yeah. boys. <laughs> but <laughs> enough of that. It's good stuff. Yeah, enough of that. Uh, all right. Thank you uh, for the voicemail, Randy. It was nice to hear that one again. Coming in now, clutch. Lastly, with with all you gentlemen here, I don't, this has been interesting to me, and I, and I wanted to kind of throw this one around. Is that um, for for I don't know the last year, uh, Mr. Bill Gates, founder of Microsoft, right? He was a savior of the COVID vaccine, right? Okay. And he was like, "Hey, we're going to vaccine right. the world. We're going to take care of everybody." But now suddenly, Bill Gates is getting divorced. He's being linked to Jeffrey Epstein. Uh, we're hearing all these reports about how he liked to party and like like a sexually uh, assault women. When he was younger, and all this other mm-hmm. terrible stuff. Does, it, it's on does anybody have any idea physically? Who, yeah, who, who who did Bill Gates piss off? Like, what happened that we're all turning against Bill Gates now? And if you have a death pool, you probably want to put Bill Gates in it, right? Uh, that guy's probably going to suicide himself, get suicided uh, very soon. Uh, yeah. I would imagine. Right. Yeah, well, I can believe in that. Minecraft. I, I'm about to just uh, super glue a little lima bean right a, right above my butthole. And call it Bill mm. Gates's hole, and he can play with it. Yeah. He can tickle it. He can tickle who's that what? Gun. That's where your brain went. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I want wow. the money. Oh. I want the money. Right, right. Yeah. Oh, you got sponsored. That's right. Okay. Yeah, Travis, so, uh, that'll be fun later. Try, try Windows ninety two. It's not <laughs> even an operating system, but you should try it. <laughs> try whatever you Windows is now. No, you might have fucked your sponsor copy up, but that's fine. Windows as a service. <laughs> Yep. Try I Linux. For Best Buy once. That was fun. <laughs> Try Linux. Even even the creator of Linux, Linux says that as a desktop, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> There's no. You know what? You just Try yeah, DOS. Believe him. Yeah. Like, you you go. guys are going to be doing Roast Mortem and Bill Gates in a couple of months. I really I really believe that. So I, I just want to know why. Oh, why man. are we turning on Bill Gates now? Okay. I mean, I never liked the guy to begin with. He's not satanic enough. The Illuminati kicked no. him out because he doesn't want to bring Satan yeah. back to the world. Lizard yep. person. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. Five Doesn't three. recycle enough. Yeah. He's not funny. That's the problem. Like, you know, now it's not enough to have a billion dollars. It's not yeah, enough. That, that's a meme amount. It's not enough to control all of the world's operating systems for every ATM. It's not enough. No. no. You have to be funny. You have to talk about Doger coin. Yeah. You have to be uh, a, be a spectacle. You have to be a spectacle like... Um, like uh, th- there's no headlines. There's nothing funny about Bill He's Gates. Non-committed. That's why we're all with him. At the very yeah, least, no, you, you need to dress up Shane like good. Yeah, but even yeah. even Warren Buffett makes the point to go like, I yeah. eat McDonald's, and everyone's like, that's fun, you little troll Yay. doll. But like Bill Gates <laughs> is like, I'm a man, I and that sure doesn't though. sell yeah. anything. Get get billions, dress up as Wario, and hang out with yes, Keenan and Kel. All that idiots. I honestly, no, honestly, look at it like this. You, if you're dirt poor right now and you are listening to this, you could Maybe. be Bill Gates and be in hot water. <laughs> That's <Okay>? true. <laughs> Life does not change that much. It might change a lot. I don't have a lot of money, no, but I'm sure. Dress shit up that, as that, you're gonna call a billion dollars. It changes. 
Oh, dude, but I would fuck myself up in a day. You know I me. Mean? Like, give oh, me yeah. a million dollars. Hey, give me a million, yeah. not even a billion. And I'm jumping off yeah. a cliff hey. for fun. Yeah. You had fun that day. With though, milkshakes. Didn't you? Also, what's with all these billion dollar people trying to get their dick sucked by miners? I'm just saying, you got that much money. Just get your dick right? sucked, dude. Yeah, you can point. have right? anybody yeah, in the wo- point, world yeah. do it, and you got to go after. You got to go yeah. to. Exactly. I've all those okay. guys, like 30, 30 mil. Good point. Something like that we Travis. need to cover, though, is that funny. Epstein not only provided uh, him in this line, not only provided some <laughs> very strange vagina that should not have been touched and very legal thing. Why was it so weighty? But it's weird it when is, you say it like that. It is the wife coverage <laughs> that he also provided. Yeah. Now, Melinda's out there. Now, she's going to put a slash in front of her name for the whole. Uh, you know, it's now. It was the Bill and Melinda Foundation. It's going to be the Bill slash Melinda Foundation. The, the and Bill. She's going to keep oh. the slash there. Belinda. That's what she's going to go. Hi, I identify as slash Melinda, and yeah. everyone's going to go. You're so brave. What happened? Oh well, I dropped yeah. my husband off at the airport, and he went and fucked children. And when he came <laughs> back, I didn't hear about it until later, and that pissed me off. Right. Because I asked him how his weekend was, and I got nothing. Silence <laughs> in the car. All right, this kind of goes back to the 9-11 Universal ride. Uh, but Good, because that's where uh, we need hey, to Hey, listen up, here. dogs. Listen up, dogs. All right, listen up. You have seen idiots. All right, listen up to fucking Bill Clinton. Bill Gates. Wow, yeah. that's a that's Illuminati thing right there. Two bills. Um, and Muslims. 42 <laughs> virgins? 40, what, 47 virgins? True. Why do you want the virgins? Get the fucking... Get 69 whores. Well, Imagine road those miles. high mileage. Oh, yeah, yeah right. high, high mileage, dude. Mileage <laughs> yeah. yeah, I want some bitches that yeah. know what Kegels are, dog. Go yeah. to Detroit. Yeah. Where I would it's take legal now. One whore is better than 72 virgins any day in, in my world. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Serious. Absolutely. That was the That's yeah. why yeah. Epstein is a maniac. Not because of how manipulative he was to all of our political figures and our, like, in the past 20 years of our history. It's a fucking grow brain, dude. He was like beating his shit. Yeah, I want, I want, I want. I want He wasn't fucking Epstein. I think he was beating his shit while other people were fucking. All right, well, you know, he was. He took pictures. That's what oh, he's good he's for. Sicko, yeah. Wouldn't you want to watch an experienced Weird woman? Do you, do you know? I don't know. Yeah. Do you I think know. if? Do you think if Epstein? You think he would be alive today if I think he, he still is? You think he still is? <laughs> but <laughs> but let's pretend. Okay. Do you wow. think he would have been newspaper alive today? If he pulled like a Kevin Spacey, what do you do? Or like a, yeah, he was just like, <laughs> oh, I'm gay. Oh, you're like and then or, oh, or if oh, Caitlyn yeah, totally. Jenner, and he was just like, uh, oh, I'm now yeah. Jezebel Epstein. Okay, <laughs> he'd be marching like, with the Palestinian saying. flag. Right, he didn't jump track enough. You know when you're playing Mario Kart and, and and there's certain levels where it's just like you can go one way or the other, and then if you're really good, you can go from one way to the other way, like mid midway yeah, yeah. through the track. If you yeah, do I watch that, summoning salt, I know. Skip, skip, skip. Right, exactly. It's noisy enough where someone's not going to kill you in your sleep in yeah. a jail cell. Do you think he faked his death and he's yeah. just, it's just a uh, conspiracy? Think, yeah, he hired Tom Savini to make a dummy. <laughs> of so mm-hmm. Are you surprised? And passed himself Life off. If you had money death. like that, you could do shit like that. You can. Disappear. <laughs> you think Kevin Bacon's a rapist? <laughs> Probably. If, I, if you had a lot of money, you're a rapist. Did you right. see do his you think, dick in Hollow Man? That's a rapist dick. That is a rapist dick. Do you you th- showed now, me yeah. that dick. Travis. Now, six degrees from seven, Kevin Bacon. We can assure ourselves that Kevin Bacon has seen Bill Gates one or two times at Hollywood parties or something. Right. Yeah. Rapist. Okay. Yeah, the so there we go. Garden. Bill Gates is a rapist, and that's why the divorce is happening. I thought it was just because they didn't have And that's why right. Kevin Bacon. BuzzFeed, hire well. us. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Problem. That's good. It was just like watching that show on on on, on network television. What the fuck is that thing called? I don't know. Hey, they talk around. Lives. They sit around. And talk. No, when they sit around and talk about celebrity gossip. <laughs> what the? Fu- I can't remember. Oh, the View. Oh, it's one of. Oh, those- that's so funny the because they're like they're the set they're on. I know exactly what you're talking about. And the set they're on it looks like a like an office. Yes, and the View. Are, right? It's not the View. No, no, yeah. no, no. Oh. It's like um, yeah, but they're hanging out. It's like, ugh, fuck. Yeah. No, if this was the View, I'd be Whoopi Goldberg, but. Yeah, going. it's like it's like right. BuzzFeed it, Live or some shit. Like, they, yeah, they're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> thank you that you know what I'm talking not about. Fun. Cody, how do you have a cat in your hotel room? What's that all about? <laughs> oh, did you see it? Yeah, the, I, I, the, there's a companion <laughs> cat I am on this road trip with, and he is aces and a handsome boy. Travis okay. is also going on right. a road trip with Kitty. Yeah, I get a long- cat road trip. <laughs> yeah, as long as you're not picking up strays in Tampa. It's just, it's just the cool thing to do. It's just the cool thing Jeez. to do, you loser. Well, if you want to pick up strays, you 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 put a shrimp into your butthole, 
but it has mm. to stim- I, ha- stick I out a little different. bit. I thought it was we a belly button. We have a parade button. of that's, strays. Okay. That's where we, you and I I did differ. it all wrong. I put the shrimp in my belly button because that's what no, I was No, that's wrong, wrong, dude, because you got to be able to walk uh. down the street and they're following you. You guys, yeah. Bill Gates is in like hot a Pied Piper. And this is what you're talking asshole. about? You're <laughs> yeah. talking about shrimps and assholes and cats in hotel rooms when Bill Gates... He's going to fake his death. Yeah, fuck you. I, I have yeah. just uncovered another layer in my head. And I would like to believe that the 9-11 amusement <laughs> ride uh, has, Powered by Microsoft. has been secondhand provided by Microsoft, but not just as the operating system for the ride itself, but hear Let's me out. to this. Two words. words. We can. Flight simulator. Xbox. Did it train? <laughs> oh. Did it train the flights to carry oh, course shit. all the way through? These are the questions that are not being asked. Tom, he, flight he, simulator he was did. just inducted in the video game Hall of Fame this year. <gasps> Holy Whoa! shit! This, my God, okay. this I is know like the biggest God. onion we've ever un- un- unpeeled, or peeled, whatever, however you call it. So, God damn! <laughs> I think unpeeled. in short, we could sum it up that Bill and Melinda are getting divorced due to love uh, 9-11. Oh. Minecraft, yeah, because it's it's oh, actually okay. connected. So I'm going to shut up now because I've been drinking <laughs> yeah. and I'm flying. I like to see your uh, fact. Bill Gates did 9-11 and they're finally, chickens are coming home to roost. We're going to get you, Bill Gates. Fuck you, fucking asshole. Your billion dollars. <laughs> I just got to say, I want to comment anymore. on the board at Microsoft and how they handled this whole situation back in 2012 by just quietly sweeping it under the rug and asking him to leave. <laughs> like, Always quiet. you know, Elon Musk's board at Tesla doesn't do shit. All right, he gets to do whatever the fuck he wants, and, and and you gotta have some adults in the room before somebody just crams the Tesla into the into the fucking wall. Um, so Microsoft into the towers, yeah, in, into the <laughs> towers, yeah. I'm I'm off brand. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, never forget Man, those I'm, two, yeah, two two Teslas. <laughs> I, Even I never Morty would do it's not the towers. Tesla. It's not the towers exploding. Are. It's the two Teslas. Yeah, it was really the thermite was. The thermite was in the Tesla. Yeah, this was yeah. before Robust. they s- switched to cobalt. <laughs> God, um, you know, after nine eleven, I was on the website whatreallyhappened.com, like every single day. Like, oh my God, they're gonna uncover. Gov. They're gonna uncover this shit. And uh, no, yeah, nothing, so. well, I think the weirdest <laughs> thing was that they moved all the eth- they moved all the Ethereum out of the basement before. <laughs> the I'm, I'm glad they did. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, bury it. Did it's you ever watch fun. the smoke no. videos, like the 9-11 smoke videos? You see, like, the devil in the smoke. Mm-hmm. Like yes. Big bullshit. Uh, I have it. Yeah. Yeah. There it is. There's the goddamn Man, devil I... again. Yeah. No bullshit. I was big into 9-11 conspiracies back when it happened, right? Because the internet was still kind of new 9/11 to everybody. 9-11 conspiracies now. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, you've uncovered a whole uh, whole thing here that we really have to investigate. So next episode, Randy, we're going to get with HDNB. We're going to figure out how Bill Gates caused 9-11 exactly. And we're going to fucking we're gonna do George Bush's That's job That's something to do with him. John McCain. Oh, right. That's all I know. Yeah, and uh, the yeah. smoke spelled sex. Flight simulator. The above the city. <laughs> do oh, not yeah, miss flight miss. simulator. Don't miss it because then you're gonna miss, you're not going to be able to bridge it. Okay? I don't yeah, Muhammad Atta didn't fucking simulator. miss flight simulator. Shit, we made a Muhammad Atta joke. God damn. All right, gentlemen, thank you for coming on tonight. Let us Pleasure. let us let Love us you. plug everything you guys do, all your extra shit on the side. I want to know it all because I just I'm gonna go upstairs, I'm gonna take my pants off, and I'm just gonna listen to whatever. My it pants is. are already off. To. I'm in my underwear now. Oh shit. All right. I had an cool. idea. Cody's pants are off too. He texted me. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Oh, you Show said you us. wouldn't tell. I had to. <laughs> All right, um, Roast Mortem, <laughs> a show that ruins itself, more so than this yeah. one, even. Um, yeah. is, and it's orgasms. It can be found on all of the platforms, especially whatever you're listening to. Come on, just do it. Um, Patreon.com slash Roast Mortem cast. There we, yeah, yeah, we yeah, have yeah. been creating some very odd material. That is... <laughs> well, it <laughs> is. No. Um, Zwick still owes us a bonus episode. Uh, what else do we have? We have a, we have a store. Where you yeah. can buy two shirts. I've yet to get a hat from these guys. Because <laughs> you didn't buy a hat, dude. I, I, for free. I financially you gave you for money. One. We also gave Mike six grand, and he blew it on <laughs> a fucking Doge a Dogecoin. Doge and then he tells me, get in I need a free hat that I have to pay for. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, dude. You want more advice or what? <laughs> no, we want you to man the merch store. Well, I can't do it without the fucking uniform. He's got to keep the sun out of his eyes. Yeah, he's got to keep the sun out of his eyes. All right. Well, that, that's pretty much yeah. us. It's not going to lay better from here. So, Rem, thank no, you very much for having a bunch us of on. Broken Randy, lead. you're the finest. And uh, Aww, cheers. Yeah, I can't wait sorry. to... Hey, Randy, I can't wait till you have a beer again. We can uh, share yeah. one. We'll do Come it on, off, uh, we'll do it off the record. Beer. I never went on the journey. Uh, it's all liquor. That's my problem. 
Oh, so okay. Yeah, yeah, I understand with, the pulling on the reins. Yeah. Randy, yeah. can we do shots of the garlic dipping sauce? <laughs> hey, that's a very <laughs> good lube if sexually. If you're in a pinch. <laughs> I'm going to try uh, that, dude. Oh. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, damn. You know, it tastes good if you, whenever mm. you go to eat it out, too. So. <laughs> wow. Same. Idea, actually. It's not bad. Wow, Randy. Nice. Jesus Great Christ. <laughs> all right. Let me, I can get my words in here. Thank you all for listening to Rich Sickman's show, richsickman.com, for all your Rich Sickman needs. We do this so we do this every week, and we'll be rotating uh, definitely not main hosts as we go forward. And uh, let's see, Rich, richsickman.com, actually, that's actually down right now. We may bring Rich, richsickman.com back up in the next week or two. It kind of depends on if the heat in our ray of sunshine has died down. Uh, that would be cool. Um, the the you episodes should have forward no to NFHC available. until it's back up, since, you know. You know what? No, that's how no. it started. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Um, <laughs> no. No. Uh, the See, the yeah, episodes that are not ideas. available uh-huh. yes, are, are currently in the cloud, uh, not available, but um, I don't know. Stay tuned. We might do something with those. Um, Patreon.com slash Rich Dickman. We'll be doing some special stuff. Uh, I'm trying to get a ray of sunshine to do a goodbye message because it's behind a paywall and you can't be held accountable for that. But uh, we'll see if he ever does anything again. I don't know. I don't know. He might be dead. I haven't talked to him. I don't talk to him anymore, Randy. That guy. Um, I'll voice over anything he has to say. Yeah. Go oh, there you go. Yes. Like Ray of Sunshine. Alice or Alias, or you call it? Yeah. Ray of Sunshine and, and is now known as Simple Dixon. But that, isn't that his name? Simple Simp Dixon. <laughs> yes. You know what? May, maybe we'll get the, our, 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 our lawyer, Jonathan Silver, to read a statement there. Uh, oh, but shit. yeah, patreon.com. So that's Rich Sick, man. And uh, yeah, listen to our friends and not free consumption. And make sure you listen to Who Gives a Shit with Adam and Crippled Jesus. And of course, Woo-hoo. listen to Roast Mortem. Okay. We did Anna oh, Nicole thanks, a couple man. weeks ago. That was amazing. And they put out great content. Every all I love you guys, all four of you. Uh, and Travis isn't here to see, hear this. So that's good. He's got the uh, smallest <laughs> bladder. Yeah. Yeah. Small. I've been check, drinking check. all day and I've peed less than him. <laughs> All right, I got to pee too. I'm trying to hurry up. Uh, Rich Dickman Show at gmail.com right. if you need to get hold of us. And of course, we're at Rich Dickman Show on Twitter. Executive producer Randy's at Sir Zero with an E or Sir Zero with an E at gmail.com. Producer Ryan, who was with last week in New York City. Ryan, I hope you enjoy Providence, man. At Ryan oh, TRDS. Shit. My mother's at Rem underscore mama. I am at Rem Dickman. And uh, hey, Randy, you want to do the you want to do the Dickman line? You want me to do that? How do you want to do this? Oh, yeah. We you can give us a this. call like I did today yeah. on the show live. <laughs> At 860-316-4776, or as our Ray of Sunshine used to say, you can text us anytime, and Rem, uh, since Ray of Sunshine can't respond, I guess Rem will have to. So text anytime and expect a response promptly. So that's 860-316-4776. That's right. And Randy, if they want to join us when we record the show, how can they do that, and when, and where, and how? Uh, That's 10 p.m. Thursday, Eastern. Uh, the best yeah. time zone period. Uh, yep. And it's uh-huh. at bit.do slash TRDS1. That's bit.do slash TRDS1. All right. Thank you, you Randy. It. And once again, Good. thank you, Tom, Travis, Mike, and Cody. I love all of you guys. Yeah. Travis, we're going to have to talk, do some Subaru talk later on. Okay. Maybe we'll get a Subaru oh, tattoo sensual. together. It'd yeah, nice. I don't know. I don't know if you. I, I have a very weak bladder, and I've I've dashed upstairs. You missed the whole ending. Let him finish miss, the show. We'll right. chat no, I'm just it. saying I dashed upstairs a few times, but it wasn't to pee. It was to to flick the bean because I know you and yeah, I were gonna get together fluid. somewhere in fucking oh. Southern Connecticut, oh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> God damn, you know I'm I'm only two hours away, buddy. Come on over. I'll All take right. the day off. All right, I'll show you. We'll get some seafood. I don't know if you like seafood. We'll get some, but if you don't, we'll get some pizza. Because Connecticut Dude, is a state kid. Like Something smothered in seafood. Right. All right. There's a reason we'll, we'll it's called it a ferry. Yeah. We'll, we'll pop the hatch on the on the cross trek and we'll just lay across like a picnic. It'd be awesome. All right. Oh. Thank you all for listening. Check out Roast Mortem. Oh, no. And uh, we'll be back next week. I'm waving my hands around and I don't know why, but uh, thank you. Uh, they can hear you do it. Yes. Good night. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, Jay. Boosh. Thank you, Jay. How'd you know I was Italian? You just you just guess because you're from Long Island and everybody Italian. No, because I listen to your show and you talk about fucking no. that you're Mario. <laughs> you got upset that yeah, you're it's... Waluigi or some shit. It's yeah, amazing. you beat the shit out of him. Who has the most Italian dad? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Yahoo. right. We did the Italian dad up. See, I forget because our history is gone. So I, I forget all this. Stuff. Yeah. It's <laughs> also uh, it's, uh, also it's uh, Connecticut is so uh, white Anglo Protestant that uh, you know. Catholic Italians up there. I don't know.
Hell yeah. We're a minority up here. It's great. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Sorry if we came it, in a little hot there, or me specifically. No, yeah. it's no. fantastic. Please. I love it. I love it all. I haven't really yelled in... I haven't oh. really yelled in three weeks. 